Hey everyone, welcome back. Okay, uh, in my previous video, I went over how to write codes uh, for beginners as far as uh, if you've never done it before and you're new to doing this stuff. Um, I'm trying to teach how to manually write codes and this is going to go for Haas CNC lathes. And if you haven't seen the, that video, I'll link it in the description and uh, kind of start from there. So in this video, I'm going to teach how to do chamfers. Okay, let me grab my uh, markers. So in my previous video, I kind of went over <clears throat> machine defaults and all this stuff up here as far as the, the tool number and the offset number. So. That, that was explained in a prior video and uh, okay so let's say uh, we'll get right into it with doing chamfers when you're using a radius bit tool which probably 99% of the time you will be you have to add what is known as a compensation value and in the Haas manual they do show you a chart and it gives you those values to add well, I'll show you in a second here if you're doing a 45 degree angle it'll tell you what value you have to add to your z-axis and your x-axis I'm gonna try and throw it in the video hopefully I don't mess it up I took some screenshots so we'll see okay so let's say this part is two inches in diameter and this is spindle center line and I went over that in the, the previous video too. Anything on this side is negative, anything on this side is positive for your X. And we established that was G54 right here, this line. So anything this way is negative, anything this way is positive for your Z axis. Okay, so say we want them to come from home, we have our cutter we want to use, we want to face the part, and then we want to feed in and then do your, I'll, I'll go over here in a minute, you're going to come up, you're going to do a chamfer, and then you're going to go this way, and then you're going to come out and go back home. So let's say we want to do a 30 thousandths chamfer. The compensation value for Z is 18, well, 0 0.0183. In X, it's just doubled. So you're taking that and you just double it. Because on a lathe, your X dimensions are always doubled. And the reason that is, I did a pretty sad looking drawing that's why I, I will dub in the picture from the Haas uh, manual. They show a better description of why you have to add compensation because when you're dealing with a radius tool, uh, it's not a sharp point where you can do a command to go to say 1.940 up to two inches because you're dealing with that radius of the tool. So here's what you have to do. Uh, I just made this up. We I went over a lot of this stuff in the previous video, so I'm kind of going to go a little quicker in this. We did a spindle speed maximum RPM of 3000. S3000. I got the spindle started. I did a G97 with an S500. Just, that can be whatever, but it's safe. M03. Turn on the spindle. I'm going to wrap it 10 thousandths in front of my G54, which is this line right here, it's my G54 plane. I'm going to turn on my surface speed. Uh, I'm doing 700 as far as my surface speed. Use a G96 S700. That's that could be higher or lower. And turn on the coolant. Um, it's usually oh, M08, but you can just write M8 and it'll take it. Now I'm going to feed down to 
X 2.2 just to get above the part. I'm doing 20 thousandths per revolution just to get there. You could wrap it that too. I just, I didn't realize I left it that way, but whatever. Now I'm going to do a feed move. Go down to X negative 0.62 because we have to go past center line, and that was described in the previous video why I did that. Uh, feed rate of 8 thousandths. Now, I'm going to feed in to Z0. It's only going to do a 10 thousandths cut coming up. So, this is where you have to do your, your math. Now we're going to go up to a dimension of X 1.9034. And the reason I got that number if you want to do a 30 thousandths chamfer, you have to double that. So 60 thousandths subtracted from 2 inches is 1.940. Anybody lost yet? Okay, let's hope not. Now, the easiest way to come up with on doing... What I, what I kind of did was, I already know that I, most of the jobs I did were 45 degree chamfers. I'm, it's just to break the edge and just make it look clean. So I always took uh, 30 thousandths, because we know it's going to be 30 thousandths this way. Add the compensation value, which was 18 or 0, 0.0183. So you get a total of 0 0.0483. So you know your Z dimension going in is going to be a negative 0 0.0483. But how do you figure for the X? All you're going to do is take that dimension and multiply it by 2. And that comes up with this number. Did I lose you yet? I hope not. <laughs> So just remember, all you're going to do is take your Z dimension, if you're doing a 45, just take this number, multiply it by 2, subtract from your finished diameter, and that gives you that. And then from there, now we're, we already came up to this dimension, one point, so we're going to come up to 1.903. Four. So we're coming up. Now we're going to go to X 2.0. So we're going to go up to the, you know, we want to turn the 2 inch diameter. And there's our Z dimension, Z negative 0 0.0483. So now we're coming up that way. And we're just going to finish it out. We're just going to go, I just made this up, Z negative 2 inches that way. And you can see, like, I, I didn't add any other feed rates. I'm staying pretty consistent at 8 thousandths and just let that stay the same all the way through. Then when it gets to Z, going to Z negative 2.0, just 10 thousandths, just a little faster. And then I'm going to feed up to a dimension of X 2.2, have the coolant turn off, M09. Then I'm just going to have it rapid up to X 10.0, which is 10 inch, theoretically means 10 inches from spindle center line. It may not be all the way home, or it may be Z over, or X over travel. For now, that's just in there, just to get it out of the way. And then I'm gonna have it go back 10 inches that way, have the spindle turn off, M05, and put an M30 coat, and you're done. So it's, I hope it doesn't sound confusing, but one thing I wanted to point out, when you're writing this stuff, I didn't go through that in my previous video, but in this video I want to. If you're doing a bunch of linear moves, you don't have to write G01 on every line. You can just, let's see here. Once you activate G01, you, and you're just writing this, you can just write these in, uh, X negative 0 0.062, feed rate of 0 0.008, end of block, Z0, end of block, 
I did that x 1.9 blah 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 end of block this end of block do that end of block and then once you hit your rapid move now we're in we're now we're in rapid and it stays active active I'm sorry and that's about it but if you were going to do another speed move don't forget to add the G01 it could get it could be bad news which that never happened but anyways so that's that and I hope I wasn't too fast on that um, I'm gonna watch this and make sure I explained everything correctly and we'll see what happens I'm trying to make these thorough and not too too over the top and not like I don't like I don't understand what he's talking about so okay uh, that's that for now and uh, I'll see you later